Hi, this is Dave of L. David Likes Photography. I've got uh, Photoshop Element 6 here. This is a really cool tip that I didn't know as a professional photographer for a very long time. Passing it along to you, I think you really like it. Batch color correcting images using Element 6, 7, or 8. Or uh, if you know how to do it in Elements, you can, it's per, fairly easy to do it in uh, Photoshop, the Big Brother program. Um, as you see here, I have 10 camera raw images. Uh, five inside and five outside. You don't see your images when you open Camera Raw. Or I should say not Camera Raw, but open the elements. It uh, does not come shipped with Camera Raw uh, plug-in. So you need to get the update um, from adobe.com uh, slash downloads. Download the Camera Raw update, install it, and then you should be able to see these images. Okay, so you can color correct one image or you can do them all. We're going to do them all. So we're going to select first, uh, hold down the shift key, select the last, come up here to editor and click on full edit and that's going to open these in camera raw. And while that's happening, I just want to mention if you do not have a color correct monitor, which I do here, um, it's good to photograph a white piece of paper, a gray card, uh, something black in the image that you can click on in Camera Raw to color correct them because they may, may look different on your monitor if it's not color corrected, but they'll, the skin tones will print properly um, if you use um, a gray card. And that's what we did here. As you can see, we have um, uh, gray card with uh, actually has white, gray, and black in it. You can click on any of these. Um, before we do that though, let's go ahead and adjust the exposure for each one individually. So you come over to the exposure slider and it's uh, purely by taste uh, how light or dark you want the image to be. Okay, we'll go to the next image. Uh, adjust, uh, oop, not the temperature, but that's okay because we're going to readjust that anyway. Uh, the exposure. Okay, if if for some reason you mess it up, you click on default and it takes everything back to the original default. Okay, go and click on the next thumbnail. It takes you to the next image. We'll adjust the exposure there. Next image, adjust exposure. Again, these might be, you might like these brighter. Uh, I on my monitor, I want them just a little bit darker, especially the outside images. Okay. Yeah, I shot them a little bit too bright um, with my exposure in the camera. So you can correct for that in Camera Raw. And that's the other nice thing about Camera Raw is, is uh, the adjustments don't take effect until you actually adjust them here. Where if you shoot JPEG, uh, they get locked in. You can't change anything, not easily. And, and most of the time, you can't change it very well as well as in Camera Raw. Okay, so um, we've got all the exposures adjusted. Now we're going to do individual batches of the five inside and then the five outside. Inside first, select the first, hold down shift, hit the last. We come up here to the white balance tool, click on it, click on the gray of the card, and if you can see over here in the thumbnails, the colors are being changed in all those images. Okay, now we're going to color correct the outside, which is typically a different color temperature. That's why you would do them separately and not all the same. Um, make sure you're still on um, the white balance tool. Click on the gray card. And as you can see, the thumbnails, each one of those is now changing for the color correct temperature. If for some reason, we're going to go back to, say, this image here. For some reason, you do not have a gray card. As long as you have something gray, black, or white in the image, you can click on that and use that as your gray card. Um, or let's go to the outside images. She had a gray sweater on, is what I was making a point of. Uh, outside here, let's say you want um, the gray card, in this case, didn't warm up the skin tones enough. I selected them all. You can change the color temperature with this temperature slider and I take it over to the right and actually increase the warmer skin tones. Like you can see over here um, the thumbnails over here 
that they now have changed color and all you need to do from that point here uh, to save them all uh, is hit, hit done okay and that saves them all um, and then you can individually open them up in Photoshop uh, with the color correction already done and print them from Photoshop or um, I'm sorry, uh, Photoshop Elements. And uh, if you want to print them at the store, you would save them individually as a JPEG. Burn those to, say, CD or whatever output device you want to take to the store and uh, print them there, and they should print uh, with good color correction. Um, that's, uh, that's it for the tip. I'm Dave of L. David Likes Photography. Thanks for watching.